can an MRI diagnose endo? Um, depends on who you ask. If you look at the literature on this, it's got a maximum of about an 83% sensitivity. So can it? Yes, but you're gonna miss roughly one out of every six patients. So I'm not a huge believer in it. I certainly never order it for that. My problem is this. So you do your MRI, you're positive. Okay, now you need surgery. So you need it to go to the OR. You do the MRI and you don't have endo. Well, there's a one in six chance you're wrong. And if you can't figure out what else is wrong, um, and you have symptoms or you have unexplained infertility, you still need to go to the OR. So if you're going to the OR pretty much either way, why are we wasting resources putting you through a machine that goes clonk every 10 seconds as it rotates around you and, you know, makes you feel claustrophobic and costs the government a thousand or 2000 bucks each time. So I, I, it doesn't make sense to me. Um, if someone can explain to me why we're doing it, I'd be happy to do it, but I don't see the rationale behind it. So you are of the opinion to go in and do the surgery? Yeah. I know. You know, people are afraid of the surgery. I get it. But in the hands of a good surgeon, laparoscopy is very safe. But you can't do any, but even when you, well, so once you detect it, you stop to do the surgery to get rid of it. Like it never, it's never not surgery. It's always going to be surgery. Well, I mean, the people who are in favor of this would argue well, if you find it on MRI, okay, you needed surgery. But if you don't find it on MRI, why are you putting yourself at the risk of a surgery? My argument against that is surgery is very low risk in the hands of an expert.